Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to get right to this, what we're tracking, this area here, this surge of moisture that is in place. A lot of us have gotten welcome rain. I know it's not all of us, and then unfortunately it won't be all of us. We'll take what we can get since we really need to get some rain. So I do want to zoom down and I want to get right into that, and then I'll broaden back the picture and look at a big front up to the north. Just give me a second on that. I want to cover this and what's going on. This is 2 o'clock today, a zoomed in look. Here's Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Dean's Grenada, Barbados. Here's Trinidad and Tobago. And you see again, two o'clock onward through about seven o'clock, scattered showers. You see some of us dry at times. And then this green here, that would be the chance of rain. This is a computer model. It's not exact, but it shows rain in the area, especially near Trinidad. But even St. Lucia, Barbados, we've had some showers around. And as we work our way, this is tomorrow morning, scattered showers. You see another little resurgence possible, northern Venezuela near Trinidad, and even a Grenada tomorrow morning. And even tomorrow afternoon, you see some spotty showers around. So again, some batches of rain. R really hope you get some since we really need to get some rain. As far as totals go, uh, St. Lucia, Barbados, uh, if you do get a shower, anywhere from 10 to 25 millimeters of rain. That's if you do get some rain. As we work our way toward a Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago, you see here some of the brighter colors. A few spots will get in that kind of uh, pinker shading, 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. Uh, scattered about. So some spots dry, others getting some decent rain as we go over the next couple days. Here's that closer look. This white shading would be upwards of 100 millimeters of rain, but not all of us will see that. And in fact, if we do get that in some spots, that could oddly on the flip side lead to some localized areas of flooding. Also watching that very carefully. Northeastern Caribbean, Puerto Rico, British U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, Anguilla, uh, St. Martin, uh, Antigua, Barbuda, not much. This would just be a passing shower down through uh, Dominica. Rain chance stays low. So here's the broader picture, and then I'll, I'll zoom out further, and then I want to take a look at the uh, winds. But you see that better chance of rain right through here, southeastern Caribbean for today. Jamaica, we may catch a shower, a couple spots. We had a few in Jamaica yesterday. Cayman Islands, small chance of a shower. Costa Rica and Panama, the next couple days, we'll start to see that rain chance picking up. A little extra rain over toward Colombia. Some of that by tomorrow may try to spill over so that rain chance gets higher. Here's a front that's pulling in into Florida. I want to show you that in a second. That one for tomorrow. And then here are some of those spotty showers as we work our way into the southeastern Caribbean. This is on our Wednesday afternoon. Then we go from Wednesday into Thursday watching this front right here, Belize. The rain chance may pick up some. Belize, Guatemala, near El Salvador. Salvador and Honduras, not a washout. And then once again, by the end of the week, Guyana and Suriname, the rain chance is going to start to bump up. Here's the bigger picture. Unfortunately, there's been severe weather overnight. Lots of it back toward Kentucky, parts of Illinois and Indiana, southern zones coming out of Missouri near Arkansas. So we're thinking of our friends here, a big system in the tail end of this front. That's going to work by the southeastern United States, Florida tomorrow, and then toward the northern Bahamas, trying to clip by Cuba. So the severe weather potential over toward parts of the Tennessee Valley today. They're going to be dealing with tornadoes. Of course, we're thinking of them. We know as severe weather goes, watching out for that. Then as we go on time from Tuesday into Wednesday, the tail end of the front will start to work its way through Florida. So Florida, parts of Georgia, Mississippi, and Alabama late tonight into tomorrow, we're going to see that severe weather chance even pick up, especially over toward Florida. And we may get some thunderstorms possible even in the northern Bahamas. So let me go from Tuesday into Wednesday. There's that line right there, and that could bring us some thunderstorms uh, tomorrow afternoon, especially late morning and tomorrow afternoon across uh, Florida. Big sprawly system. Backside of it, there's going to be some snow. And then as we work our way from Wednesday into Thursday, this system kind of clips by the Bahamas. So here we are in the northern Bahamas. There's some of that rain that will try to scoop by northern Bahamas. Not much in Cuba. You see the front picking uh, kind of fizzling out as it gets toward the Yucatan and Belize. A little bit of rain though over toward Belize and Guatemala. Cancun we may catch a shower, but there's that system working up toward the northeast. Another system here moving into uh, the Pacific Northwest in western areas of the U.S. So this is as we work our way into Thursday. Now as we look at the seas, the seas aren't too high a little bit of green showing up every now and then in the Caribbean. That would be uh, the seas at about two meters. This is meters here, feet over here. So two meters, we're looking at six, seven feet roughly. And you see though, as that front moves in, southeast U.S., the seas are going to pick up near the northern Bahamas north and out toward Bermuda. This is by tomorrow. And in the Gulf of Mexico, it does get rockier in the Gulf of Mexico or choppier. Then as we work our way into Thursday, it's really off the coast of the southeast U.S. where those seas are going to build upwards of about 
about five meters or upwards of about 15 plus feet in some areas as that front moves off. As we get over toward uh, the U.S. Uh, here and then back toward the Atlantic region of Canada, we're waiting on this next system. It's not a really a fast mover, a big sprawly system. So watching out for that severe weather potential, Tennessee Valley lifting up toward parts of West Virginia. This is as we work our way deeper into our afternoon today. These brighter colors, that would be some thunderstorms backside of it. The white side, that would be some snow and some snow and sleet kind of mixing in. We're going to see substantial snow in parts of Maine. This is by tomorrow afternoon. And you see still Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. The system is still generally down to the south as we work our way into tomorrow. It's not in a big rush. And then as we work our way into Thursday, that's when we could see some of that snow or at least rain mixing in. And then some higher uh, snow totals over toward parts of New Brunswick, stretching back toward Nova Scotia and parts of Maine as we work our way into our Thursday afternoon. So as far as the rain chance goes, a spotty shower for my friends in Jamaica. Rain chance is not going to be too high as we get back toward the Cayman Islands. Rain chance limited. Just as that front moves by, we could see a shower. But Trinidad and Tobago, we're up to a 60% chance of some of that wet weather at times today, tonight, into tomorrow. We're watching that as well as we get over toward Barbados. About a 50% chance of rain. Please keep me posting in the comments if you get rain or if you don't. This is your weather community and it helps me get a good handle on where I'm watching drought conditions fire conditions and that sort of thing. St. Lucia rain chance about 40% the next couple days, 50% chance the next couple days in Grenada, and a 40 to 50% chance St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance about 40% in Martinique today, kind of on the edge of some of those scattered showers. Isolated chance the next three days as we work our way toward Dominica. Guadalupe, same thing, about a 20 to 30% chance. 20 to 30% chance Antigua and Barbuda as we work our way toward St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, a 20% chance. Isolated chance of a shower, Anguilla and St. Bart's. 10 to 20% chance St. Martin and uh, uh, Stacia. And again, you see Northeastern Caribbean, Northern Caribbean, get back toward Puerto Rico. The rain chance is not high, 20% chance, 20% chance the next three days, US and British Virgin Islands. As we work our way back toward the Dominican Republic, rain chance bumps up a little bit with the tail end of the front by Thursday. We're gonna have a 30% chance in uh, the Dominican Republic. Haiti though, we're mainly dry the next three days and on the hot side, Bahamas rain chance will pick up with that front moving in and I mentioned those seas, they are going to be building. 10% chance of rain in the Turks and Caicos, upwards of a 40% chance in Cuba. That's kind of scraping by with that front moving by. Rain chance is not too high, but the rain chance does bump up some in Belize and over toward the Yucatan of Mexico. By the time we get into Thursday, we're looking at a 30 to 40% chance of rain. 20% chance in Aruba, holding on to a 20% chance in Curacao. That includes uh, Bonaire as well. Bermuda, the rain chance of picking up as that front starts to uh, move in. Uh, by the time we get into Thursday, and you see Costa Rica and Panama, we're looking at a 40% chance starting to make the climb. Some of that moisture from Colombia starts to work in. Guyana again on Thursday and Suriname, the rain chance is going to get higher. I was showing you that with the model. We're up to a 50% chance. In Venezuela, some spotty showers possible as we go over the next few days, northern Venezuela. So areas of rain, definitely not enough, but we're thankful for some rain. That bigger front moving through the U.S. that will clip by Florida and parts of the uh, Bahamas. Next month does look to be wetter, of course. Uh, start to get some tropical moisture in, and that could lead to an early start to the hurricane season. Hurricane season starts June 1st. With that said, I do expect some development next month because the water temperatures are so warm, so I'll keep an eye on that. So thank you for liking these videos, taking the time to subscribe, and being part of this weather community. Hope you have a good rest of your day.